hey guys welcome back to the channel uh, thanks for stopping by today as you saw in the title today I'm doing a different kind of video I'm doing an Ipsy gla um, glam bag review which is um, if you know me from watching the channel past couple of months that's a different thing for me um, because I'm not really into makeup that much I never wear it hardly ever um, but I just thought it would be something fun to try out. My cousin actually um, recommended it to me. I've seen it on YouTube. I actually usually skip those videos because I've never actually thought about, you know, getting a, a, a bag sent in monthly. So um, she was like, go ahead and try it. The first one's free. Why not give it a try? And I was like, okay, sure, why not? Um, so she sent me the first one of course i've been gone the whole summer so everything was waiting here for me when i got back um so i figured i would uh review june and july so that you guys could see what came in the bags um if you're not familiar with ipsy and how it works it is a monthly subscription um, for a beauty bag you go online you fill out a um, survey and it asks you different questions like what types of coloring you like, what kind of makeup or cosmetics you like, what type of routine do you have, that sort of thing. And when you're done with that, um, it lets you pick um, different brands that you're interested in or different products that you might want to try. And then they put a, a bag together for you and they send it to you. So I'm going to show you what I got in my June and July bag. So this one here is the June bag. Okay, so this is what, well first it comes in this really cute little pink bubble envelope, um, which I just, I like that alone. <laughs> so I kind of like that little package coming every month. Oh, and it's only $10 a month and you're able to stop your subscription, um, put it on hold or skip a month or two whenever you just don't want anything and I believe you can preview what's going to be in the bag for the month if you know so you can see if it's something that you're interested in um, so all those things I like so far so I'm going to show you what's in June's bag so this is what it looks like it's super cute it's like a coral and then it's got the ombre coloring little pouch on the tag it says ipsy on there and then inside it's got um, a little card that tells you what month it is and then on the back it kind of um, gives you a breakdown about what the month is what's going on um, why the makeup is relevant or um, whatever is going on you know for that period of time um, so that's cute and then let's see what else is in here so this is a Afra um, cosmetic laboratories and this is blush melon and you can add, I think it's a palette so you can um, I'm sorry it's a little pod you can add it to your palette kit yeah that's what it is so it looks like this can see so I'm gonna do a little swatch see what it looks like if it's very pigmented so this is what it looks like so that's pretty pigmented I like that it's really soft it's really satiny and it doesn't have a weird smell so I like that a lot so that's interesting So give that one a try. I like the color. Not bad at all. Um, this is Feel Pure Anywhere Balm in Rose. Um, so it says you can use as a lip balm or anywhere skin needs added nourishment or as a tint for cheeks or eyes. And that's what that looks like. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. I 
has a really nice scent to it, almost a eucalyptus scent, and it looks clear. It looks like a um, like a petroleum base, but it doesn't have any petroleum in it, so that's nice. It's castor seed oil, and um, it's got beeswax and sunflower seed wax in it, so that's pretty cool. So the next two things are um, a charcoal clay bubble mask. So it says oxygen bubbling mask, refreshing pore care, an invigorating clay mask infused with the powerful purifying benefits of active um, benchotin charcoal and oxygen to refine and refresh pores. Okay, pretty cool. So it says that you put it on for three minutes and it's fragrance free. And they gave me two of those. Gotta give those a try. I need some help with these pores with these pores of mine, so yay. Um, this one is a lip glass by MAC. Um, let's see if there's a color name on here. This one, it is AA7. It doesn't give me a name. I don't know if that's how MAC um, products normally are. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so it's like a nude. It smells good. It's a big deal for me here, so you can see. So it looks like that. So it's just pretty sheer, but it looks like it covers well, so that's nice. So I'll be giving that a try as well. And then the last thing is, let's see. The last thing is this Pacifica Tomboy Vibe Natural Mineral Eyeshadow. 100% vegan, cruelty free. 3.6 grams. And it says it has a, a bunch of different shades. This is what it looks like on the back. So that's different. Never seen that before. Um, don't know what shade I got. Let's see. I like the fact that it's a mineral eyeshadow because when I do wear um, anything, I, I tend to go towards the bare minerals or the um, physician's formula. This does not want to come out. <laughs> okay, has a technical difficulty there. <laughs> it did not want to come out of the packaging, but this is what it looks like on the inside. So there's lots of different um, colors in there. I had this thing super packaged. It did not want to come open. I guess it didn't want to uh, join the family. <laughs> but okay, I'm going to try to swatch each one for you. So this reminds me of the Physician's Formula. Um, it's it's slightly pigmented, like it's not heavily pigmented, if that makes sense. But it it goes on really smooth. Um, doesn't feel chalky or anything like that. So those are all the colors. I don't know if you can actually.
Okay, so those are the colors. I don't know if you can actually see them or if they are blown out by the light, but um, on my skin tone, that's what each of the colors looks like. This here. So like I said, they're not like overly pigmented, but um, they probably would go on nicely. If I happen to try them out, I will show them to you on in a later video. But, um, yeah, that's not bad. I think that's pretty cool for um, a bag. And like I said, that first one was free to me, so that was very cool. You can get, like, a referral code and send it to um, a friend, and then I think you get something when they activate their account and, you know, get their first month. So, not all in all, not too bad. I thought that was cute, and I love the little pouches I can always use a little you know makeup pouch um, and if I don't keep them all my sister loves pouches <laughs> so she'll always be happy to get another one um, she's got a pouch for everything <laughs> so yeah I, I like that I like the little bag as my first reaction to it I think it's pretty cool um, would I do it every single month? Maybe not. I guess it depends on what items they're sending to you. Um, but I think it's pretty cool all in all. So, let's jump into the July bag. Okay, so the July bag, again, has the same little card in it. And... Um, tells you on the back that you can get a 30% cash back on the items that they have listed and it tells you like a little did you know fact on there and then this is what the pouch looks like for the month there's a little ipsy on there so let's see what's in this one so down in the pouch um, in the little packaging there were two um, mass packs. So this one is the um, Nature Recipe um, Tea Tree and the Honey. And um, tells you how to use it on the back. Um, and then it gives you like a little snippet about each thing. So Tea Tree Leaf Extract helps to relieve redness and irritation. Nourish your skin with nature's gift says on there and then it says honey is rich with nutrients to revitalize the skin and again it says to nourish your skin with nature's gifts so apparently these are like natural items and um, you know to do like skin care with so those seem like they would be good to use and this one is the Juliet has a gun um, and it says not a perfume on the back so it says um, it's created and designed by Romano Rica um, great-grandson of Nina Rica not a perfume is a molecular composition and will not resemble um, anything you've ever tested before made out of a single ingredient and has no top or heart notes um, so while testing it, chances are you will experience a certain weakness at first glance. Do not rush too fast into conclusions. It is one of our top sellers, and there is a good reason for that. The fragrance simply stands out. Okay, so I'm going to give this a try. So this is made from one ingredient. smells really good when you first put it on um, it's got a really nice immediate scent to it like as if you're going in for an embrace and somebody has a really nice perfume on um, as it settles in it kind of changes a little bit it's more of a earthy um, deep 
not quite a musk but more like a sandalwood almost it's interesting I'd have to try it out for a couple of days maybe wear it out and see what I think about it it's really interesting really interesting um, so the next thing is a blending brush this is Elizabeth Moth, Moth tapered blending brush and this is what it looks like packaging is really cute I like how the simple design very cute and then I got the NYX soft matte lip cream and this is in uh, Sao Paulo color this is what it looks like the perfume changes over time as a, I, f I can smell it wifting in, in front of me and um, it, it changes really weird and then the last thing in this one is when in doubt wing it out and it says our easy to use pen delivers precision point perfection and long lasting vinyl black color so this one is by Ico London and it is a skinny uh, liquid eyeliner in black so this is what it looks like so that'll be fun because I've been wanting to try like a cat eye or more of a nighttime look so this is it I'm interested to try that out oh, it looks like that I like that. Hmm. It's very, um, very fine. It's like it'll get very precise, you know, like it'll get you right where you need it to be. So that's pretty cool. I definitely, I'm definitely still um, interested in this perfume. It's really cool. I really do like it. It's more of a nighttime scent and it's more, I would think, more of a fall scent instead of a summer scent. Um, but it's interesting. I had heard of it before, but I've never tried it before. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, so that's everything in the two Ipsy bags. That was June and July. Like I said, just playing catch up because I've been gone the whole summer and I have stacks of stuff that I need to go through. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I just thought it was cute. The packaging is nice. Um, a little bit of fun in your life for 10 bucks a month. So not bad. Um, would I do it every month? Probably not. Um, but I will definitely treat myself to it every so often. I think for myself not being a huge makeup person, um, it's kind of fun to get something new here and there that I'd be willing to try out. Like I said, I'm really interested in doing the, the liquid eyeliner. Um, and then the lip cream is definitely something that's more my speed. I usually do like a really nice lippy and um, eyeshadow. And that's it when I'm going out on a little mascara. And that's it for me as a basic five minute, um, you know, routine. So um, I, think it's a really cute thing and if not for anything else definitely for <laughs> the little bags because these are super cute I love a good pouch so they got me there so yeah um, so let me know if you enjoyed the video if you have an ipsy bag or um, some sort of uh, monthly subscription that you're into something that you love just for yourself not for the kids not for hubby you know just for you moms you ladies out there um, and let me know what you liked in today's uh, bags um, please remember to like share and subscribe give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and come on back and see us next time all right bye